it's Lauren and welcome back to another episode of 100 Baby SMP. It has been such a long time since I've uploaded a video on my gaming channel and it's mainly because I've been super busy with my exams and I also recently took the SAT for the second time. So yeah, you could say I have a lot on my plate, but now that all of those things are over and done with, I have a lot of time to film and create videos for you guys again. So yeah, I'm really happy to be back and it is December now, so that means we are getting in the Christmas spirit. And if you haven't noticed, I do have my Christmas skin on. How do you guys like it? I think it's pretty cute. And you can see a lot of my children also have the Christmas skin on. So we're getting pretty festive up in here. So in this episode, I think I really wanna go ham and decorate my house and also I wanna show you the townhouse that I built for some of my children because they are adults and I think it's about time they move out or at least some of them because you know it's getting pretty full in here <laughs> full house <laughs> whatever happened to predictability Anyways, let's get straight on into the video. So before we start getting into the decorating, I want to show you what's new with my house and I also want to show you the townhouse that's outside and also some things that have changed at Spawn because I always like to keep you guys up to date with what's going on on the server since I have been MIA for a while now I really need to catch up as well so first we're gonna go down here and I want to show you guys my downstairs area and if you didn't know I actually did film a Halloween episode but I don't know like the file got corrupted so mmm Mm, I was gonna upload that, but then I guess things just didn't want to go my way. But I did manage to salvage some bits and pieces. So during that episode, I visited Ashaloo's, um ship full of men, which I will show again in this episode because you guys don't really get to see the full extent of it in the clip that I salvaged. And I also went into Halloween Town, but yeah, I couldn't save any of that stuff. So that is very disappointing. And and um, I can't really remember what else I did in that episode, but yeah, that's what really happened. And as you can see, this is my storage area and I did add a humongous hole all the way into the ground because I feel like I'm really lacking in the diamond department. I don't know why, I'm just really bad at finding diamonds. So yeah. And what is this? Um, Were you good or bad this year? Open the chest to see if you got a gift or from Red Steel. Uh, look at that little mini chest. So cute. Um. Uh, okay, cool. Um, I'm just gonna break this down. Um, thank you regardless, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna show you guys this townhouse I built. This took me so long to make because I had to like search far and wide through the nether to find this much quartz. It was difficult, guys. And I think I can fit a couple of my children in here, maybe like four or five if I really squeeze them in. And yeah, so down here I plan to put like a kitchen and like a dining table and kind of like a living space. And then up here is the second floor. And I think I wanna put like a living room in here and like more like a fun time area. And then on the top floor, I think this is where I'll put the beds and stuff. And that's a skylight that I still haven't put glass in. Um, I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Um, yeah, but I really like this townhouse. The only problem is that you can't really see outside these windows without jumping. And if you want to see how I made this townhouse, I actually used a tutorial because I suck at building on my own. And yeah, I'll link the tutorial in the description below. So if you guys want to build a similar townhouse in whatever world you are in, you guys can go do that. <gasps> oh my god, I totally forgot. In the last episode, that's what I was missing. I gave birth to my little boy, Bert. Yeah, Bert. Bert. Yes, yes, Bert. Hi. <laughs> yeah, and you can see he's already kind of grown up and he is passive and greedy right now. And he's 13 years old and he has a gift for us. <gasps> Ooh, <gasps> 12 diamonds? Girl, mm. Mmm, mmm. Bert, you be spoiling your mother. Oh my god. 
that you are such a good boy bird you my new favorite oh uh, let's see if any of my other children have like gifts for me um, yes nim thank you thank you for the coal um hunt how about you this is like christmas come early what's that an enchantment table oh thanks hunt um storm what do you have for us um Ooh, what's that? Ooh, I have Ender. Wow, okay. Uh, Phoenix, hey. Uh, you gave us... What did you give us? I don't... I can't even see. Is it a block of iron? Oh, that's good. Um, and Ida. Oh, you don't have anything. Let's go to spawn now because I have to get things done. I have some errands right now. Okay, so we're at spawn. And look, they changed all the doors to be all Christmassy. Cute. Um, but if you're wondering why I have a gold block in my inventory, it's because since I want to do some Christmas decorating, I have to use my devil bench because they have a ton of really nice christmas decorations available on there but i do not have enough green dye um one gold block equals one stack so yes i'm gonna pop that in over there and i'm gonna take a stack of green crafting clay um anyway since we're here i'm gonna show you guys the ashaloo um men ship i think ashaloo's mail cargo Yay! Okay, go downstairs to meet your match. Um, we are coming really close to 10 babies, so we're soon gonna have to kill off Jackson. So maybe we can we can get a new man from here in the future if I can't find any good ones around my own village. As you can see, they got a lot of men here. We got Van the Fletcher, Duncan the Fisherman, Rosendo the Librarian. And yeah, they got a lot of like nice suitors right here. So we can definitely come back in the future and see what men will be available then. And it seems as though nothing else is new here, so I'm just gonna head back to my house so that we can get our Christmas on. So we're just gonna pop this stack of green crafting clay right in here, and then we're gonna tab filter and let's look for the holiday section. So, let's see, let's see, let's see. Fall wreath, no, no, no. Garlands, ooh, girl, yes. Okay, so we got some Christmas lights here. Let's see how this looks. Um, I think this would be really pretty. Ooh, does it light up? No, no. Ooh, we got some tinsel here. We got some advent wreath. Uh, we got a nativity scene. And we got some presents. Ooh, a gingerbread house. Uh, we got a candy cane jar. Mm-hmm, girl, mm-hmm. We should get, like, a mini Christmas tree for inside and then a gigantic one for outside because that's how we're gonna do this. So I think we're gonna need to get a table to put it on top. So let's do table. I think this glass one is nice. So let's get that. I think in this corner is pretty good because it's pretty empty here. And we're going to put the Christmas tree on top. Oh, so cute. Oh my God. Look at that. That's cute. Um, And let's go outside with our gigantic Christmas tree. So where do we want to put this? Here is really good. Like this. Oh, yay. It's Christmas. I think I want to put some stone slabs around it though so it looks more clean. That looks nice. Okay, so what about these Christmas lights? Where should I put them? Uh, maybe upstairs because this is where I sleep. Ooh, maybe we should put it over the window here and like right across. That would be nice. So we need three more. And we got a wreath. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We should put this outside on my front door. Um, maybe we can do it like this. Ah, no. Um, wait. Let me try to, like, get around this and see if it works. I think I got it, guys. I think I got it. But can I go through this? No. Ah, no. This is so sad. Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to put it on the inside. So we're gonna put this wreath right atop the door and that looks really nice i really like how that looks actually so um let's go upstairs and put my fairy lights up okay let's put it here and here and over here oh that looks really nice oh my gosh that looks really 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 nice but let's see what else we can get because i'm getting really excited by doing this i think we can get these present stacks um, I like this one because it kind of goes with the theme of my town, which is like purple and blue. 
we got a freaking sleigh right here, so that's pretty nice. Um, we can do a snowman too. We can get some tinsel for outside, so let's get four, and we'll see if we need any more later. We got our sleigh over here, and we have a little snowman as well. Okay, and then we can put some of these garlands over here. I think they would look really nice over here, or should we put them on the porch like that? Ooh, that looks really, really pretty. So let's put some more. Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of a matching thing on the other side. And as for the presents, I think I'm gonna have to put them inside because I couldn't get them to fit anywhere near the tree. And we don't have enough for the tinsel. Dang it, guys. Oh no. So I think we're gonna have to buy another stack of green. But let's see if we can get any more presents. Yes, we can. So um, we're gonna get this one because that one looks nice. Uh, we'll get this red one because it looks pretty nice too and then we'll get this pink one as well and let's go upstairs and place them around oh these ones we can place right here oh that looks nice maybe i'll get rid of that one and just place these around there we go that looks nice or okay at least um so yeah i'm gonna get rid of this one and we can get more tinsel now so that's good um we can get one i think yeah definitely just one so i'm just gonna head on and buy some more green and then i will be right back okay so i am back and i have of the tinsel here we go hopefully it fits and doesn't collide with the christmas tree there we go maybe i can put a wreath right here on the top actually that would look really nice i went ahead and also got a nativity scene put it somewhere up here we can put it here um and we're gonna go ahead and put the wreath outside and there we go okay i think my house is all ready now but you know it can't be a hundred baby SMP episode without me procreating with my husband Jackson so let's go ahead and procreate <laughs> oh. 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 and we got a boy so Kayla Ann requested me to name a boy Albert so we're gonna name this one Albert, which is kind of close to the name Bert, but it's still different guys, so it's okay. So we're gonna name this little baby boy Albert. So we need three more until we finally get to kill Jackson. I'm sorry, Jackson, you're a great husband and I really do appreciate you in my life, but I'm sorry, you're just gonna have to go. I kinda wanna get the three babies in this episode and then leave the killing for the next episode. So I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So first First, we're gonna have to wait for Albert to finish, you know, growing up right here so I can set him down. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go about my business and do my thing, and I will be right back when he's ready to grow up. So, I am back, and Albert is all ready to grow up, so let's put him right down. And there he is. Since this person didn't give me a skin for Albert, uh, he's just gonna have to make do with the skin that he was born with. So there he is. He is four years old, his current mood is passive, and his personality is strong. So we're gonna set his home as here, um, and we're gonna tell him to stay here. So yes, there we have little Albert. And now we're going to have another child with Jackson over here. And it's a girl! So my friend Danny asked me to name a baby after her. So here we are, we're gonna name it Danny. Oh, I got an achievement, fully grown. I think it's because Bert right here grew up into an adult. Yup, he's an adult and he has another gift for me. What is it this time, Bert? What did you give me? Oh, is that it? Oh, he gave me some, oh, that's a lot of arrows. Dang, 64 arrows. Okay, baby Danny is ready to grow up. So let's put her down right here oh and there she is so we are going to change her skin of course and wow she just darted across the room so we're gonna set home and we're gonna say stay here and she is four years old her mood is passive and she is greedy so let's change her skin her skin is hella cute look at that all pink and stuff so cute but now we gotta procreate some more so yep procreate there we go jackson there we go come on you don't even know you're gonna die next episode and it is a boy so 
Abby Wolf the Gamer gave me a bunch of boy and girl names to use, but I think I'm gonna choose the name Styles. There we go. Little baby Styles over here. One eternity later. Okay, so now Styles is completely ready to grow up. So, oh my god, baby Styles, where are you going? You really want to open those presents, don't you? But it is not anywhere near Christmas right now. So he is four years old. His mood is passive. He is curious. So set home. Uh, stay here and yeah, that's him. That's Styles. We don't have a skin to give him. And now we're gonna have our final child, baby number 10. Procreate. And it's another boy. So I'm gonna be using another name that Abby Wolf the Gamer recommended for me. So this one's gonna be named Scott. Yep, there we go, little baby Scott, baby number 10, and the baby that will mean the end for Jackson. <laughs> Yeah, guys, we're gonna kill Jackson in the next episode. It's gonna be really sad, but we gotta do it. And what makes it even better is that we already have a place to bury him. So I'm thinking we have enough space here to bury all of my baby daddies. And I think that Mr. Jackson will do great right over here. So we're just gonna reserve that for him. Mwahahahaha. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we just have to wait for little baby Scott over here to grow up and then we're gonna end the episode and then next episode we're gonna say goodbye to Jackson. So baby Scott is finally ready to grow up but before I do a trim up, I wanted to show you guys while I was waiting I found some snow and then I decided to put it underneath the sleigh and the snowman because I think it made it blend in way more and it gives it way more of a Christmassy look. So yes, enough dilly dallying let's age up baby Scott over here we're gonna set home and we're gonna tell him to stay here and he is four years old his mood is passive and his personality is odd okay then but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this episode we did a lot actually this episode we had a ton of kids we decorated a bunch and uh, yeah I got to show you guys around and what's been happening since I've been really MIA for the past month or so and and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, still give it a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below some baby names and also some requests if you want to see me do anything specific on this server. Also, make sure to go follow me on my social media. The links are in the description below. And also make sure to join my Discord. And also make sure to go subscribe to this channel. I really want to reach 500 subscribers really soon. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye!